morning everyone so today is Tuesday yeah <laughs> um, so I just cleaned up around the house a little bit and now I'm going to um, have quite time and then I'll get ready and I'll get going for the day I have some errands I want to run that I'll take you guys along with me on and um, it's kind of a gloomy day so far this morning so we'll see how it turns out but um, I'm excited to just go do some things today I stayed in the house yesterday and I washed most of the floors in the house I didn't do the living room and dining room area but the rest of the house I vacuumed and then I scrubbed the floors and the baseboards so I have to sneeze. I don't know how to start this out. I don't know if it was the cold weather in San Francisco that got me so excited for fall or what but I'm really really excited for fall lately. Um, that's why I started sneaking these into my decor. I don't know but I just had like a cozy quiet time in the living room. I turned this lamp on. We never use this lamp but it totally made it feel a little more cozy and these lights I put over here. Um, I like to like set a cozy atmosphere for myself to have quiet time. Um, I just want to feel like I am just in the midst of God's word and I mean that comes from reading his word but it also like the environment around me kind of affects it. If you were sitting in the middle of a city in a busy like in the middle of Times Square you would feel a little I feel like it, you'd feel a little distracted. I know I would anyway that's what I'm trying to say is I would feel distracted. I would feel overwhelmed and so um, to just being a cozy atmosphere in my home where I feel like I'm it's quiet and I'm isolated by myself I feel more prepared to have quiet time I feel more um, I feel less distracted and just more ready to spend time with God so anyway I set myself up a little like cozy atmosphere got the blanket out of the dryer so anyway yeah I'm just so ready for fall I don't know why all of a sudden I feel this way it's still August I love summer summer I love the warmth and not having snow and not worrying about that. So I love summer. Fall is kind of my favorite. I used to say it's my favorite, now I don't really know. Um, I love fall, but towards the end there you get that that onslaught of winter, that dreading, creeping winteriness that comes in. I just don't like driving in the snow and the ice, which I don't have to do too much, but Luke used to have to do a lot and that was always scary. Um, but anyway. So I am just, I'm happy with today, and I'm grateful for the blessing of today, and so I'm going to um, get dressed and get going, like I was saying earlier. All right, well I'm dressed. I did my hair in pigtail braids, so I kind of look like a 12 year old, but I'm kind of just embracing it. Goodwill and I got a few things I'll show you guys later um, or maybe I'll do a separate haul it was only three things so I feel like I should just show you in this video but I've actually never bought clothes at Goodwill before so I'm excited to try them out and see how they are well I got a sweater from Calvin Klein for like five dollars so that was awesome also of course I went to drop off clothes to get rid of things and then I go and buy more whoopsies <laughs> probably not a fluttering angle at all. I am holding the camera, but my hand is resting on the steering wheel that's holding the camera. My other hand is on the steering wheel, so whatever. Um, and I'm not really looking at the camera anyway. I'm trying to stay focused on the road, but anyway, I got some groceries. I spent $65, which is more, my weekly budget is $50 right now. Um, I would like it to be less than that. I'd like to spend less than that a week, and I oftentimes do, but this week, and next week I'm going to combine my budgets and just have a two week overall $100 budget because um, we're going up north next week and I'm not going to be shopping next week anyway other than I'm going to buy some ice cream um, for our brownies and ice cream that Luke wants for his birthday because his birthday is next Thursday on the 16th. So um, anyway what we're going to do is, or what I'm doing and thinking and planning and budgeting is that I will, um, I spent $65 this week on groceries. So next week I have a budget of $35 to spend, which I think I'm only going to spend about $25 if I can stay on that budget, so um, if I'm not missing anything that we need. Um, so I think I'll spend about $25 next week and $65 this week, which is only $90. It's still $10 shy of our budget. It gives us $10 to spend on ice cream, um, the grocery ice cream up north. I mean, we'll buy ice cream other times for just fun.
do you think? You hear the band? You hear the band, Sadie? <laughs> stay fresh long enough for me to use them um, next week or I might just I think what I'm gonna have to do is dice them up and then save them um, freeze them and then take them up north frozen for lasagna I'm gonna do a mostly veggie lasagna I might have to buy some beef for it because I think the family will want some meat in it but um, yeah so anyway I have that's what I got those for I got grapes for us for this week carrots this week onions for this weekend next weekend whenever however long they last Lemons, I mostly got for water, but for flavoring stuff as well. Um, they were out except for in these bags, so I had to buy a bag of lemons. But that's fine because I wanted more anyway. <laughs> Look at Sadie. She has my Goodwill bag and her towel and one of my socks. Anyway, um, I got some kale for salads. This salad blend or whatever, veggie blend, um, for $1.29. This thing of romaine for $1.29. I'm leery about buying this stuff, but at the same time, it's so nice to not have to wash and cut your fruits and veggies, um, so, or your vegetables, especially for salad. I just hate, even this little bit of kale, I just dread it and I put it off and then I, half the time I waste it. So anyway, it's worth it to me to get the clearance cut up stuff. So anyway, I got that stuff. I got blueberries. Um, I got some orange juice. All we have is water, so I'm going to try to stick to less sugary drinks, but I did get some orange juice for us. But orange juice, water, and lemon water is what I'm sticking to this week for beverage options. I got a pound of ground beef on clearance for $3.19 because it's, it's a little bit more because it's the lean and the more lean kind. 88 cents for some eggs, um, 99 cents for this fiber, high fiber bread. Um, some lasagna noodles for next week. Luke is on a popcorn kick, so I got some popcorn. Um, we're doing brownies and ice cream, as I already mentioned, for his birthday, so I got two things of brownie mix. I don't know if I'll do one or two. There's only going to be five of us up there, so we'll see. Um, to snack on, I got, this week I got some mixed nuts. This is for our meal this week, some tuna. Um, I got this tomato sauce. I figure it'll come in handy at some point um, for 29 cents. Whole stewed tomatoes. I usually use these kind of things in chili, but I usually have them diced already, so I'll just dice them myself or cut it up myself, 29 cents. Um, Two things of baked beans, they were on sale for $1.88, I think, which isn't too terrible. Um, country style and brown sugar hickory, Bush's baked beans. I know it's, people might argue, but I think Bush's is like the best, and I can't buy generic and baked beans. It just isn't the same. Um, for the lasagna that I'm making, I also bought, did I mention lasagna? I think so. Um, I got a couple different kinds of sauce, Kroger brand, chunky mushroom and onion, and Berea roasted garlic, or Berea, however you say it, um, honey, because we go through it decently fast, even though I don't really love it. I use it in like coffee and recipes and stuff. Um, extra virgin olive oil. I went with a cheap Kroger brand, not so good version because I'm cheap. <laughs> Belgian waffle mix for waffles for Luke's birthday next week. Clearly just doing everything for his birthday. I'm acting like, I'm exaggerating. It's his birthday. He deserves it. Now I got two things of pads, each worth $3.79. They're usually like $7 for a box like this. Um, so they're like half off. I buy, like let's just get real here. I buy Always Brand Infinity Flex Foam ones because they work really well. They're thin. Um, they're just the best quality in my opinion. And that's something that, yes, I could buy cheaper ones that aren't foam. Um, it would save me a lot of money. But I get my period every month and it's really annoying, especially when you're trying to get pregnant and you keep getting your period. So if I want the nice kind of pads, I'm going to do it because I have a period every month and it's really annoying and it just happens. So anyway, that's one of those things where like, and apparently there's tax on stuff like this too, like special taxes. Why in the world? We get our periods all the time. We can't help it. That's how nature is. You don't charge extra tax for toilet paper, I don't think. I don't know. It's just, it's one of those things that... And um, I never used to care about it until I started buying them myself, for myself. Um, when I lived at home, other people bought this stuff for me. I was like, oh, whatever. But you know what? When you're spending your own money on it and you can't help it, it's something that happens every month. Um, that's what I got. I'll do the Ibotta and all that stuff and let you guys know in a caption right now. But I spent $65 on all of this. And like I said, um, I'm not really going to be buying much. I'm going to buy stuff on Saturday for next week. But next week itself, I'm not going to be buying any groceries. So... That's why I spent so much, and uh, stocking up on pads is expensive, and so, anyway, that's what I got. 
here's the purple top. I think it's really cute. Um, it's like I said, like a half or a three quarter length sleeve. It's pretty cute, right? It's flowy. I like it tucked in. It looks good out as well, just flowy. Um, if you were the kind of girl that did that, you could wear leggings with it. Um, but yeah, I think it's really cute. And so, I mean, it's it's a cute top. I have no problems with it. I'm gonna keep it. Um, I don't know how this will look with it, but let's try this sweater on as well. I have to go look at myself before I can say how I think I feel, but it's a very soft sweater. Um, it's long. I like that it's long. I cut my hair up in a bun because it was looking really frizzy anyway. But how cute is this? I think this is really cute. Uh, I want to try this sweater on with other things besides this shirt and see how it looks with like dresses or um, just like a tighter shirt. But I think this is really cute and just add something. Um, I think it'll take, you know, just a simple t-shirt and or long sleeve shirt and jeans into a little bit, a little bit more fancy or at least like styled piece or styled outfit. So I think this is really cute. I'm really happy with it. And I'm going to try on my Calvin Klein sweater. Um, okay, I think this is really cute too. I think it's a really good fit, great for fall. Um, this is a little awkward, but it's cute at the same time. I kind of feel like I'll be playing with this and fixing it all the time. Um, and it's a little scratchy right up here where I'm not wearing a camisole underneath. Um, but the arms aren't too scratchy and it, it's really cute. I have no regrets. Honestly, like I'm not like, oh, it's really scratchy. I'm going to hate it. Um, I think it's just like such a cute, crisp, nice sweater that like I can wear to church, just out to a family party, Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever. Um, I think it's just a really nice sweater. I'm so impressed. So I'm going to try that vest on some more and then I'm going to wash these in the laundry um, here at some point soon. But I'm really excited. They're great pieces for fall and um, this shirt. It feels very fall to me with the colors of it, but it's a sheer top, half sleeve top. You can wear it like any time of year pretty much. Um, so I'm really excited about all of these pieces. Have a great day. God bless and I will see you all later. Thank you for watching my videos. If you do watch them on a regular basis, I really appreciate it. If you want to share my videos, I would also really appreciate that. Um, but anyway, just give it a like if nothing else and I would really appreciate it. So how many times can I say it? appreciate? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.